it sounds like quite a trip. 13,000 kilometres, three months on the road. Oh, and no driver. Two electric, autonomous orange vans are travelling from Milan in Italy to Shanghai in China. The vehicles will brave the traffic of Moscow, the intense summer heat of Siberia and the bitter cold of the Gobi Desert before their planned arrival in Shanghai in October. Although drivers will take control of the lead vehicle from time to time, the aim of the project is to show that autonomous vehicles are ready for the real world. These are vehicles powered by electricity. They can move automatically. They perceive the world they face. They're able to locate pedestrians, bicycles, vehicles. They understand bends in the road. In short, they understand the world they face and then automatically decide how to move. Brody says the cars can detect all kinds of obstructions thanks to their various sensors. We can see in this demonstration how the vans change direction when they sense the presence of an obstacle. The vans have a top speed of 60 kilometers an hour. The batteries need to be recharged for eight hours after every few hours of driving, but the vehicles are also equipped with solar panels. The obstacle detecting system is called GOLD, a generic obstacle and lane detector. When something is in the way, the system analyzes the information and automatically resets the speed and direction of the vehicle, braking if it's impossible to go around. The vans will travel in convoy, with the second following the route set out by the lead car. Eventually, the technology will be used in a set of vehicles in Rome, delivering goods or collecting rubbish. These vehicles are moving with a leader-follower technique. We have a vehicle in front and one in the back that follows automatically. The follower vehicle uses sensors, cameras and lasers to see where the lead vehicle is. In the first vehicle, two team members will define the route and take control in critical situations. The second van will, in theory, not need any human intervention, but will in fact have two people inside, one at the wheel in case of an emergency. It will follow the cues of the first, but if the first car is not in sight, perhaps cut off from view by another vehicle, the second will use GPS info broadcast by the first car and, of course, its sensors to avoid any obstacles. The two vans are expected to reach the end of the Silk Road and their adventure by October the 10th.